Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This tutorial will cover the configuration and use of the Agile Seller Commission Module, which is an accessory for the Agile Multiple Seller Module. The Seller Commission Module allows a store owner to manage seller commissions and commission payments through PayPal, allowing you to set commission rates and transaction fees for sales. Commissions are the amounts charged to the sellers by the store owner for selling products and are based on a percentage of each sale for the seller. For instance, if the total of a sale, minus any tax and or shipping in this case, is $100 and the store owner is charging a 10% commission on all sales, the seller will receive $90 from the sale and the store owner will receive $10 in commission. In addition, this module also allows the store owner to charge a transaction fee. This is a flat fee that will be charged for every sale. The module allows the store owner to charge a commission fee, a transaction fee, both or neither. Also, commission rates may be set store-wide or by individual seller. Commissions may be charged by order, by seller account balance, or by period. Store owner and sellers may pay each other through PayPal and this module will automatically keep track of the seller's accounts. For this tutorial, we will assume you have correctly installed and configured the Agile Multiple Seller module and that you have installed the Seller Commission module. Configuration of the Seller Commission module will be covered in this tutorial. We begin this tutorial logged into the back office and on the dashboard screen. Again, assuming the Agile Seller Commission module is installed, we will now cover the basic module configuration. To do this, we hover over or click on the Modules tab in the top row menu, then click on the Modules option. Here we see a list of all modules contained in the store. Next, we locate the module by clicking in the search box in the upper left portion of the screen, then typing Agile. From the list of modules that appear, we find the Seller Commission module and click on it. This module is now displayed in our list. From the options available for this module, we locate the Configure option and click on it to access this module's configuration screen. On this screen, you can set the basic options. The first option lets you designate the PayPal account the store owner will use when sellers pay their commissions or transaction fees through PayPal. The funds that sellers pay the store owner will go into this account. The next option allows you to use the PayPal sandbox mode for testing. Once you have tested this account, this option should be set to No for correct payment operation. The next option allows you to designate a PayPal header image. The entry here will be a link to an image already stored on a web server. The next option allows you to choose a default commission currency. This should be the same currency you will use later for calculating commission payments. Please note that once you start doing business, you should never change currencies here. Doing so will cause all balance calculations to be incorrect. The next option allows you to choose when to return a commission amount to the seller. The default here is when an order is cancelled, but there are many other possible options to choose from depending on your needs. The next option allows you to specify whether the shipping fee will be included in the commission fee calculation. In most instances, this will not be the case. However, you have the option to do so. The next option designates how discount vouchers are handled. You may set this option so that the store owner will cover the cost of the discounts, which means that commissions will only be charged on the discounted amount, 
or that the seller will cover these costs. The final option allows you to apply deductions to orders, which means that a given percentage will be deducted from the total sale amount before the commission calculation takes place. Be sure and click the Save button when finished with these options. Once the basic module options are complete, the next step is to configure the actual transaction fees and commission fees. First, we will set the transaction fees. This is done by hovering your mouse over or clicking on the Customers tab, then clicking on the Transaction Fees option. On this screen, you will see a list of all currently configured transaction fees. Here you may set default store-wide transaction fees or seller-specific transaction fees. To create a new transaction fee record, simply click the Add New option. In our case, you can see we have already created a store-wide default transaction fee of $1.50. This means that all transactions or sales that occur in the store will incur a $1.50 transaction fee to be paid to the store owner. Though we could add a new transaction fee record at this time, we will edit this record to show the possible options here. We do this by clicking on the Edit button. There are only two options for each transaction fee record. From the drop-down list, you may choose the store's default transaction fee, which will charge all sellers in the store this amount for every transaction, or you can designate a specific seller for this particular transaction fee. Then you simply enter the transaction fee amount to be charged for each transaction. Remember to click Save when finished. Please note here that store-wide default transactions will be charged to all sellers for whom you have not set a seller transaction fee. If you set a transaction fee for a specific seller, that transaction fee will override the store-wide default. If you do not set a transaction fee, then no transaction fees will be charged. Next, hover over or click on the Customers tab then click on the Commission Fees option. Here you will see a list of all current Commission Fee records. To create a new Commission Fee record, click the Add New option. In our case, however, you can see we have already created a store-wide default Commission Fee of 10%. This means that all sales that occur in the store which fall within a given amount range will incur a Commission Fee of 10% of the total sale minus tax and shipping in most cases, that will be paid to the store owner. Though we could add a new commission fee record at this time, we will edit this record to show the possible options here. We do this by clicking on the Edit button. On this screen, you may use the drop-down list to choose the store's default commission fee, which will charge all sellers in the store this percentage on every sale, or you can designate a specific seller for this particular commission fee or rate. You must also designate an amount range in which to charge this commission percentage. You do this by entering the lowest dollar amount which will be charged a commission. This is the From Amount field. And by entering the largest dollar amount which will be charged a commission. This is the To Amount field. Any sale that falls within this range will be charged this commission percentage. Next, we enter the actual commission fee percentage as a whole number. This value should be from 0 to 100. This is the percentage that will be deducted from each sale for the chosen seller or store-wide if default commission fee was chosen. And finally, we enter the deduction rate percentage. Here you may enter a percentage of the total sale amount to be deducted before the commission calculation is applied. This field can be left at zero, but may be used if the store owner would like to provide a reduction in commission cost. Remember to click Save when finished. Please note here that store-wide default commission fees will be charged to all sellers for whom you have not set a seller commission fee. If you set a commission fee for a specific seller, 
That commission fee will override the store-wide default. If you do not set a commission fee, then no commission fees will be charged. This concludes Part 1. We will continue from this point in Part 2 of this tutorial. See you in the next video. And thank you for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.